Alex has a drawer with 12 pairs of socks, four of which are white, and another drawer with 14 t-shirts, eight of which are white. What is the probability of choosing a white pair of socks? Because there are 12 pairs of socks, four of which are white, there are four favorable outcomes out of a total of 12 outcomes, and therefore the probability of choosing a white pair of socks is four out of 12 or four twelfths, which does simplify because four and 12 share a common factor of four. To simplify, we divide both by four. The simplified probability is one third. Let's also express the probability as a decimal and percentage. We should recognize that one third is 0.3 repeating. If we round to four decimal places, one third is approximately 0.3333, which is equal to 33.33%. Just remember the fraction is exact, the decimal and percentage are rounded. Next, what is the probability of choosing a white t-shirt? There are 14 t-shirts, eight of which are white, and therefore there are eight favorable outcomes out of a total of 14 outcomes. The probability of selecting a white t-shirt is eight fourteenths, which does simplify eight and 14 share a common factor of two. Eight fourteenths simplifies to four sevenths. Let's convert four sevenths to a decimal by dividing four by seven. To four decimal places, four sevenths is approximately 0 0.5714, which is equal to 57.14%. Next, what is the probability of both the socks and shirt being white, which is the probability of selecting white socks and selecting a white shirt? Because these two events are independent, meaning the outcome of one event does not affect the outcome of the other, or the outcome of selecting the socks does not affect the outcome of selecting the shirt, the probability of selecting white socks and a white shirt is equal to the probability of selecting white socks times the probability of selecting a white shirt. It would not be true if the two events were dependent, where dependent events are events where the outcome of one event is affected by the outcome of the other. And now to find the probability, we already found the probability of selecting white socks, which is one third. And we also already found the probability of selecting a white shirt, which is four sevenths. There are no common factors between the numerators and denominators, and therefore we multiply and get the probability of four twenty-firsts. So the probability of selecting white socks and a white shirt is four twenty-first. Let's also convert to a decimal and percentage. Four divided by twenty-one to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.1905, which is equal to 19.05%. And for the last question, what is the probability of both the socks and shirt not being white, which we can say the probability of not white socks and not a white shirt? And again, because the events are independent, this is equal to the probability of not white socks times the probability of not a white shirt. Well, we know the probability of selecting white socks is one third, and therefore the probability of not selecting white socks must be one minus one third or two thirds. And then we have times the probability of not a white shirt. We know the probability of selecting a white shirt is four sevenths, and therefore the probability of not selecting a white shirt must be one minus four sevenths or three sevenths. Again, because not selecting a white shirt is the complement, of selecting a white shirt. Before multiplying, we have a common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. There's one three and three here, as well as here. Now multiplying, we just have two sevenths. The probability of not selecting white socks and not selecting a white shirt is two sevenths, or we can say the probability of both the socks and shirt not being white is two sevenths. To four decimal places, two sevenths is approximately 0 0.2857, which is equal to 28.57%. I hope you found this helpful.